Dear Diary, last year of high school, last year of performing in monologue show, last year of having to go to school for eight hours, last year of living at home, last year of being able to spontaneously hang out with my friends, last year of being a kid. But have you ever thought of what is to come? First year of college, first year of having a fresh start, first year of growing up and appreciating how far I've come. It's time to let go. It's overwhelming to think, how did I even get here? It is as if I'm the passenger in a car speeding through and it all seems to go by before my mind can register the sight. I have to let go, I know I do. But I guess the hardest part of it all is that this is the first time in my 18 years of life where something will actually change. I mean, sure, we grow out of coloring books and riding tricycles, but those are minor changes in comparison to those that are soon to come. You see, I'm afraid of letting go of what it means to be a kid. What I find most amusing is the fact that this seems normal to everyone but me. Classic Christine. The thing is that The Lion King is my all-time, absolute, hands-down favorite movie. And I make references to animated movies all the time. Just ask my friends. <laughs> so what? You see, in the midst of all the stress and chaos that takes place every day, I find comfort in knowing that I'm just a kid and my parents can worry about all of that. I mean, think about it. Our biggest problems so far have been getting a good score on ACT and finding a date for prom. Well, not exactly, but for the most part. I like the security that I have now and I'm afraid of leaving it out in the open. But now what? All this talk about responsibility and stress is making me even more worried. But what can I do? You know what? I can do more for myself than anyone else can. At least I know that much is true. So here goes to teaching myself how to let go. Dear me, you can do it. <laughs> I know you're afraid, and that's okay. Because although you may not realize it now, fear is something you should think. Think fear for being your shadow and for constantly pushing and challenging you. Fear can be intimidating at first. The fear of the unknown and all things new, but when you're afraid, you show your true self. You used to be suffocated by fear and anxiety as if it were a boa constrictor, slowly squeezing the air out of you, But now you are brave, brave enough to hope that you can summon the strength to beat the snake. Either you can choose to stride on and tremble as you walk, or you can fall to the ground, cover your eyes, and learn what it means to pick yourself back up. I know you don't want to take that leap of faith, but in doing so, you can witness the great beauty within humanity. <laughs> Or see uglier. That's why it's a leap. Either way, I promise you, there will be amazing people by your side filled, filled with compassion. Remember that your hope is your humanity. And it brings a light into your eyes. Love yourself. Don't give in to the demons within. Instead, stand your ground. Because your hope and courage will be your shield. No, no, they will be your wings. So what does all this have to do with letting go? You see, you can only let go once you are bold enough to redefine yourself. It's important that we become aware of what has been holding us for back for so long and breaking free, so that we can realize how far we've come. Only once we are confident enough in who we are can we make an impact on someone else. You see, the thing is that we are all like thin sheets of glass. You may have been dropped and cracked, but our surface remains intact. We believe that maybe tomorrow we will be healed into one solid sheet of glass. We believe in hope. 
But even if you are broken, even if you imagine yourself as a piece of glass that has shattered into an infinite amount of pieces, know that you are still here. Your shards of glass, like that of your friends, are still on this earth. And all it takes is one piece of your shard to cut right into an entire human being's life. You see, one broken piece of you can be the edge that makes someone else believe their true identity. So, in the end, remember how far you've come. Remember how far you are capable of going. And most importantly, most importantly, remember what it means to be you. With hope of letting go, Christine Ramirez. <laughs>